As one of the Oak Ridge scientists here in the Oak Ridge Regional Symposium on Atomic Energy, I'm certainly happy to be here. We're having an excellent meeting today and tomorrow for the symposium, and we've, which is being attended by something like 150 or 200 people uh, from industries, colleges, high schools from all over this part of Virginia and West Virginia and North Carolina. The program of this particular symposium uh, has to do with a, a number of very general topics about atomic energy, industrial power, use of radioactive isotopes, and this sort of thing. Uh, this is really just the start of a longer period, or short course as we're calling it, uh, which we'll go into a good deal more detail and will be um, for the industrial representatives and college people from the various areas. I'm very happy to be here at VPI and to get a quick first look at the uh, nuclear laboratory which we're set, being set up here. I'm awfully glad to have Dr. Robeson here to explain it to me. Thank you, Dr. Overman. This is our nuclear reactor simulator, which is just set up today. It contains all of the control system from a normal operating reactor. The equipment will be used to train students in the techniques of reactor operation. The equipment is in operation at the present time, and the various uh, experiments which are performed with reactors can be uh, done here. This model simulates the reactor in uh, showing the control rods, the safety rods, and the, and the uh, control positioning rod here. If for any reason the reactor becomes, uh, is misadjusted either intentionally or otherwise by the student instructor, the reactor automatically scrams, which means that the control rods drop suddenly and the equipment, the reactor is shut down so there's no danger to personnel if this should be a real reactor. A scram is indicated by this type of alarm and of course then the student must go through the proper operation, operating sequence to reset the reactor before he can bring it back up to operating power. 